What's going on guys? This is Ishix and we're making a new series here today. This is going to be how to make gold with Trade Skill Master. Now if you guys are serious about making gold, this is definitely the add-on to get. Um, with a little bit of maintenance, this add-on can easily make you over tens of thousands of gold per day with you know very minimal playtime. Um, so to start it off, this is episode 1 and what we're going to be doing in this episode is basically just showing you guys what you need to download, uh, the features of the add-on and all that. In future videos, I'll show you how to actually make gold. Um, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and start it off uh, with what you'll need. So go ahead and head over to Curse or WoW Interface or any other website that you get your add-ons from. Um, and you're going to have to download TradeSkill Master Core. Um, I'm running a version 2.8.3. Just pick up whatever is the latest uh, at the time you guys see this. Um, anyways, grab the core. And on top of that, you're going to need a bunch of modules, which are just basically add-ons to the add-on, if that makes any sense. Um, so first you're going to need accounting. This is pretty much going to keep track of everything you've sold, um, how much gold it's sold for, how many you've sold. So it's pretty helpful to see what's selling well on your server and uh, you know keep track of what's going to make you a lot of profit. Um, next piece we need is additions. You don't actually need this part but it's really cool. It's got a nice uh, add-on to it so it gives you a new tab up here. Uh, auction buys and sales. So instead of the item saying when something sells in the auction house it'll say you know, we found a buyer for your auction of Ember Silk Bag. Uh, instead, it'll say we found an auction. Uh, we found a buyer for your auction of Ember Silk Bag, and then it'll say how much it's sold for. So, say like 250 gold or whatever. So you kind of know how much gold's coming into your mailbox at a certain time. It's pretty helpful. Uh, and on top of that, you get vendor buying. So when you're buying uh, materials for, say, uh, inscription, you need to buy a bunch of those papers. Instead of buying, you know, 20 at a time, 20 at a time, you can just uh, hit like, you know, 200 at a time. So that's pretty helpful. It saves a lot of time, and it's, uh, you know, a pretty nice feature. Anyways, after that, you're gonna need auction DB. So this is pretty much what the market values of your items are gonna be based off of. Uh, it provides the scans of the auction house. Um, so when you're getting mats and reselling and all that, it's going to, uh, you know, get a database of how much stuff's worth, and it's gonna give you some accurate information. Um, when you guys start this off, you're gonna have to scan the auction house for like a week or two before you actually get serious about gold making. Just because you need to, you know, get a baseline of what the prices are for your server, because every server is different, obviously. Um, so definitely, this is a must-have to get, or the add-on will not work without it. Um, auctioning. So this is pretty much like one-click post and cancel all your auctions. Um, super, super helpful. Um, once you set up your groups, and I'll show you guys that in pretty soon here. Once you set up grouping, uh, you just one-click, you know, uh, post this group, and it'll post everything in your bag or whatever you specified if to post. Um, saves you tons of time and you can get really quick undercuts on all your competition and all that. Um, so that's a pretty pretty big one. You're gonna need that. Uh, crafting. So if you guys do anything with professions like uh, you know leather working, enchanting, all that, you're gonna have to grab the crafting uh, module. This is pretty much it'll queue up a bunch of crafts. So you can have um, a bag full of materials and then it'll pick what it wants you to make to give you the most gold from what you have. Uh, so it's one click crafting you click it once it'll craft everything you need um, and it'll throw it in your bag for you um, So that's definitely a must-have it makes it so much easier and it saves you. Oh my god so much time um, So definitely pick that up if you guys are into the profession game um, On top of that we got destroying which is pretty much as mills prospects disenchants um, one click it makes it easy um, and especially since because the add-on is going to recommend the quickest way and the cheapest way to give you the mats you need. So instead of buying them off the auction house, it might say, "Oh, go di go disenchant a bunch of weapons or something of this item level," um, and then you can just one-click it, and it saves you time. Uh, item tracker uh, pretty much shows you how much of each item you got on each character in their bank, bags, guild bank, all that. So if you're running a pretty big character list on a server, it's pretty easy to keep track of your stuff. Um, mailing one-click mail, send to your characters or alts. Uh, also to other people it doesn't have to be on your account so if you do a lot of cash on delivery stuff you can just auto accept everything makes it super easy uh, shopping pretty much this is going to be where you're going to the, the crafting module will pretty much say you're going to have to you're going to have to find all these mats some of them you might have in the bank some you might get from a vendor but the rest of them you're going to have to grab from the auction house so this is the part that's going to say um, either you want to disenchant a bunch of stuff either you want to buy the mats outright uh, it's going to scan the prices, tell you what's the cheapest option, and then you're going to pick from them. Uh, really helpful, must have um, for the add-on to you know get its full potential. Warehousing, pretty much one click move between 
bank bags and guild bank um, so if you guys have a lot of stuff and you're gonna be running a big stockpile you're definitely gonna have to pick this up uh, it saves you tons of time and I'll show you guys how to set all this stuff up in future videos and wow auction this is basically just a second version of auction DB um, auction DB pretty much calculates it off of your scans in game uh, wow auction is a scan of the blizzard auction houses I guess folder files I don't know what it really does but anyways it grabs them from online uh, so you, with wor both of those working together you get some pretty damn accurate information of how much stuff is worth um, in the way of mats and resale uh, goods and all that uh, so that's pretty awesome um, and on top of this you have profiles so you can set up different profiles for each character so you can have a uh, profile for you know I'm playing my mage right now so we can have a profile for him that only has his profession so he's a uh, enchanter and a tailor so it can show both of the stuff I can do myself on this character or you can go ahead and have it go across all characters so after you're done you know making a whole bunch of enchants it'll be like okay next step go over to um, my paladin go do a bunch of inscription stuff to make more gold um, it's pretty helpful I honestly don't use it but I can see people that have a lot of characters that would be really helpful um, and that's pretty much it for the startup here guys um, I'll just give you a quick look at the accounting uh, this is stuff I've sold recently it shows you pretty much everything um, which is pretty helpful and you can you know search for uh, you know glyph of you know, oops, glyph of black ice and you can see I sold a few of them for you know around different types of gold um, depending on the server price each day so anyways that's pretty much it guys this is the, the introduction to the add-on what you're gonna need uh, episode 2 we're gonna have, go ahead and start setting up groups which is the pretty much the baseline on how to make gold with it um, so anyways I'm gonna wrap it up here guys if the video helped you out in the least bit uh, go ahead and comment and subscribe and uh, I'll sh throw up a link on screen right now to episode 2 you guys can click that and move on Thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. Peace.